Caddis Maximus here again. This time we're doing a little video about this uh, 1235 PNC. So this was the organ-based hand tool company that was bought out sometime in the 60s by Proto. These are micro, or actually these are more specifically ignition pliers. I have a little set of channel locks. I don't know where they went, but this these pliers um, are ignition, and they are ultra thin. Just really, they're pretty light duty. But they are just super thin, super compact channel lock style pliers, even though they use a slip joint design. I have some German ones here. I don't know if these are Nipix or Stahlweil. I just know that they said Germany. This is what a heavy duty compact set of uh, uh, channel locks might look like. They're compact, but once again, they're heavy duty. They actually have the channels. That's the deal with these channels is because it's just a much stronger design than these the, than the double D or the double flat bolt but if we look we can see just how thin these little PNC's are they're just really thin the head is just really compact and so that's what they are they are ignition they're called ignition pliers because you are often working on small little parts um, usually associated with spark ignition excuse me distributor ignition systems and so that's really what these were for. These are definitely not heavy duty. And I can see why I haven't run into many of them. I assume, one, not many have been sold. And two, people have just inappropriately used them for more general purpose duties. We can just see by my fingers that this steel is very thin. And um, combined with the double D, you know, if you're using them in a position like particularly this position here in the middle, if you just put too much force on it, it just expands this out and probably breaks one side or the other so it's actually kind of neat to find a set that's in good condition nice and tight i had just reviewed a little set of uh, case branded ignition pliers like these and they were a little bit thicker steel but they just had a terrible defect with the pin design i had commented about uh just how undersized the bolt was and on these little pnc ignition pliers we can see that what they've done is there's actually a washer and a nut just to make it a, just a little bit better retention. And then it has a nice thick head on this side. And of course the double D's goes all the way through and probably is what contributes to these actually holding together nicely. To give you an idea of the size of these things, here's a jumper. So this is used in computer hardware, oftentimes motherboards and that type of stuff, all sorts of Sorry, electronics. I don't have an answer for that. I don't know what Alexa's commenting about there. <laughs> anyway, this is a computer jumper, and you can see how small these pliers are. And other electronics, these just bridge two little pins on things like motherboards and that type of stuff. But I thought these would be an absolutely perfect set of pliers just to work on these. You know, if we use the middle position here, we can see the jaws are almost the same width as this jumper is in thickness. So, super neat. Three little positions. So... Quite a variety of sizes. These would also be handy in other uh, small components and electronics. There's oftentimes little screws that have little nuts in the backside. It's often hard to either get access to them with any kind of mic tiny sockets, even quarter inch. And finding, you know, a lot of people may not have a set of ignition box wrenches. And even using box wrenches on little nuts, they just, you know, you can get it on the nut, but then the nut falls off in the, you know, nowhere land. So a little set of pliers like these, uh, you can grab onto the small nut and hold on to it while you unscrew the other end of the fastener. And they're just nice and thin, even though this rivet may kind of get in the, uh, interfere in some situations. I just thought, God, there's all sorts of little, uh, jobs, particularly when I take apart stuff, working with electronics. Uh, even fixing power tools, trying to remove or insert terminals, lots of small terminals uh, inside power tools. <sighs> Manipulating wires in tight spaces. It's just kind of neat to have a pair of pliers like this that are just super thin. I mean, these things probably only weigh 50 grams, we could just see. Um, so you have to be kind of aware of them. But little ignition pliers like this are about the smallest set of plier of adjustable pliers that you can find 
and they're kind of a lost art, but they are certainly handy. And the other thing is they're cheap because they're just so tiny. And I'm actually kind of stoked to find a vintage set of PNCs, especially like this. We can see that this set of pliers, if we look at the jaw teeth there, these things are about as close to brand new as you can get. And once again, I was pretty stoked to find these uh, micro ignition pliers and wanted to share them with you all. And these PNCs are made pretty well. We can see the handles actually line up nearly perfectly. They really uh, did a good job making these. One thing I thought was an interesting attention to the detail, due to the way this bar is angled here, when you adjust the slot, this whole section go will actually move forward or backward a little bit. So we can see in the smallest section, this lower portion sticks out a little bit. If we go to the largest section, we can see it goes now the upper portion is a little bit uneven, but if we go to the middle section here, we can see that now the handle tips are actually even with each other. And so when you're in the middle position, they're even. So they chose the middle ground, and I thought that was another nice attention to detail. Something that most people wouldn't notice is something exactly like that, making sure that the uh, handles are symmetric when you're in the center position. Anyway... Really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing, even when I spend too much time talking about little pliers. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.